Now, if this is how I work. I just find it easy to work like this. Now, it's going to be, make sure it's called default, or you can click on it like this. You can go here. I'm going to retype default with capital D and spell it wrong and click rename because that's how cool I am. Anyway, so now we're going to go to wave front object and make sure you always import as wave front object. Um, and then we're going to go where we saved our bridle, simple racing bridle. Now it should be appeared like this. Now this view can get pretty annoying, but for a shortcut, hold control, click, drag. So you can sort of drag. And now to zoom in, instead of taking ages like this by using your scroll, hold shift and scroll. That should make it work much faster. And same applies here, but I'm really not gonna do that on this part. And we're just gonna control, click, drag. So remember, control, click, drag, and just play around milkshake and find out some shortcuts for a while. Cause I, I pretty much pressed a shift, oh, and clicked and drag and experimented that way. So next we're gonna need to um, look at our groups. Now, now you're looking at me as to say, yeah, but what if I click on the bridle? It's gonna move the horse's head as well. Wrong. Now we're gonna do this little technique I like to do. You click on this and you just click hide. You click your default mesh and you click hide. And you keep clicking hide, you know, to just, it's that simple. It, it kind of is self-explanatory really on this one. Right, now we're gonna wanna create a simple racing bridle. So a simple racing bridle will be something like this. Um, simple racing bridle. Now I did bring out a racing bridle, but it was like my first ever bridle and it was absolutely annoying. So it's gonna be say something like with a large egg butt sort of um, snaffle or um, bit or whatever you want to call it. So we're going to go for this type of look. Now we need a large ring here. Get reference images. Trust me girls, guys, who's ever modern or meshing bridles today, get reference meshes and keep going back to them. And as you can see, we just need a circle, like a hoop there. Buckle, buckle, done. <laughs> right. So we're going to go to this. Now, I'm not going to do reins. I don't do reins in my bridles because I know how many people like to draw on the reins. But if people want rain versions, you know, it doesn't take me take you five seconds to ask, hey, Sapphire, can I make a rain version? Can you make me a rain version? Oh, I don't know where that accent came from. I am so sorry if I offended anyone. Right. Okay. So now we're going to go here. Okay. Right. Sorry. Notice what I'm doing. <laughs> right. So what I'm doing is I'm making sure my select tool is highlighted and making sure it shows up this little box here. I'm clicking, dragging, and just pressing um, the delete button on my keyboard. I don't know if backspace works. Hang on, does backspace work? No, you have to press the delete button on your keyboard. Now, for this bridle, there is no nose band whatsoever. So for this, we're gonna highlight the nose band here and we're gonna just Get rid of that and get rid of it. Make sure you're zoomed in well enough to see what you're getting rid of because it can go a little bit crazy and I don't like it when it goes a little bit crazy. Now, so we don't need this part down here, but we are gonna need one of these hoops. Yes, we are. And we're gonna bring this all up. So we're gonna get rid of this and we're gonna click all of this so make sure that that middle bit there is removed and make sure it shows up and I'll show you that again oh control Z just press that multiple times if you want to edit if you've done something wrong and make sure you just control Z it but there are some times when milk shape you know doesn't allow because there's that little bit underneath there which is kind of making my OCD act up but I'm gonna leave that for now because this it would just play on my mind so this middle bit part here these two spots here so we're going to delete that then we're going to click drag and now don't worry that is still selected now we're going to unhide our other mesh and we're going to just click move make sure you have move highlighted click here make sure we drag it to a certain point now now you're going to freak out where is it gone no 
But uh, you can't be missing. Don't worry. Alright, so we're going to do this with it. Don't exactly drag it all the way up because then you have this stupid thing that happens and I just don't have time to explain of why this happens. But this is what we're going to sort of do with it. We're going to bring it up. So you see on this, on the left one here. Now you should get this type of view. So we're going to select. Hey, no, we're going to select. Don't fail on me now, Milkshape. I have an audience. Right. Try to select directly half. I mean, like, directly half of this. If you possibly can. If it's too much trouble, do not select directly half. All right. But we're not going to delete directly half. We're going to delete up into this because there's a hoop there that we need. So we're going to just click delete there. And we're going to, oh dear, we're going to do a little zoom in on this one here and what we need from this is to get rid of that little piece here and we're gonna highlight click highlight click and that should don't get rid of the other half yep nope that's done it for me right okay so this is the daunting task trying to get your meshes to be nice you know because meshes don't like to be nice and milkshape I love <laughs> I have actually fallen in love with milkshape don't ask me why I don't even know anyway so now we have oh dear what have I done right see what I mean it is a daunting task because if you delete this whole hoop that's it life over I wouldn't say life over. It's more of like, why would you do this? Why do you do this to me? I, I'm going to start singing Why Why Delilah in a minute. Anyway, so we just need to make sure that's all cleaned up and pretty much use the reference from the other bits to see what that looks like. Okay. So now we just have this singular hoop that is surrounded by other pretty things. So... <clears throat> we don't need those other pretty things so we're going to zoom in as close as we can and delete everything or attempt to around the hoop itself now this part for me I can do pretty quick but it is a lot of trial and error and don't worry I did throw my toys out the pram when I was making this to just to get this little hoop you can mesh from scratch a hoop but honestly my UV mapping always messes up, so I just use reference. <laughs> right, okay. One hoop created. Sort of. Now we're going to move this to make it, and we're going to click rotate. So, because we need to make it more hoop-like. That made no sense, but it made sense in my head. Right. Now we've got it looking more like a hoop, so we're going to select this whole hoop here. We're going to zoom out as much as we possibly can and just bear with me girls this is a lot of zooming out and again still a lot of zooming out right now we have a simple hoop and we're gonna move make sure you have selected move because I've done this too many times I've clicked select and then I have had to reselect the hoop Anyway, so we're going to move this hoop like all the way over here. And you know what the great part about this is? Right? I haven't told you the great part about this. This is the most amazing part. We can duplicate this hoop, right? This singular hoop. And we can use this and save this hoop as a single mesh or export this single hoop as a single mesh for reference onto all other meshes. We have a badass over here. My flatmate is looking at me like I am going insane. But do not worry. Oh yeah, Simon Sly has signed up to the Equus forums. So uh, we got another dude on ES. Woo! He doesn't speak much though. Now he's gone all shy. Now he's making a rolly. Now he's not impressed. Now he's lighting his cigarette. <laughs> he's shaking. He's not happy. Anyway, so yeah. All right, just have a drink. Okay. 
I will apologize if any of you can't hear me 